What is up, Workbringer here, and today I'm going to bring you something a little bit different for me and for the channel. This is the first day, literally, that I'm starting to PvP. And what was pretty fun is I pretty much did Arena 2v2, and I got to 1400 rating, which... That was like the first rating that I think you get. I don't know, I don't know anything about PvP, to be absolutely honest. So this is the first time in the Great Fault that I'm going to get anything from PvP again. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've uh, cleared Heroic, 10 out of 10. And uh, I did a Mythic 13, but uh, I don't like P I don't like Mythic Plus this week. That's why I'm doing PvP. Uh, it is said that I have never PvP'd in this season, not really. And I'm item 2 level 15, so that is why uh, the beginning of this goes so well, I suppose. So this is my very first skirmish, right? So this is like an unrated uh, arena. I'd never done them before. And this is literally the first time I'd ever PvP'd in this season. And I have no, what I, no idea what I'm doing, and the rogue that I partnered with got destroyed. So I'm pretty much a prot paladin. I mean, that's what I am. And it turns out that prot paladin is somewhat of a hated PvP spec at the moment. I have no idea. Because we don't die. <laughs> we don't die, and I might... I might tell it into Seraphim as well, but it's like, we also do like pretty good damage, have a lot of utility, and have a lot of silences. And we're tanky. We're like a holy paladin, but... But stronger. I don't know. I deleted a lot of holy paladins today. It was interesting. So this is the first ever run I ever did, and my partner got deleted because I'm not good at healing yet. And this rogue gives me the runaround for like an hour. And I'm like, is this what PvP is? I had no idea. And I finally go and lock this rogue down. Hodge, probably. Boom. So the very first PvP thing I ever did, I won. That was kind of cool. Again, I probably like massively overgeared compared to everybody else. So I jump uh, from skirmishes, which are really boring, and I just one-shot everyone. Uh, I'll save you those videos. It's me running up on people and one-shotting them. Actually, this is kind of one of those two. But I think this is like legit arena. I'm not sure. And so slowly, I just start pairing with different people and start learning about the meta comps. I have no idea what I'm doing. And honestly, I just think I have like massively higher gear than everyone. So I pretty much like if I crit on like a Hammer of Justice with Avenging Wrath up, it's like GG. So a lot of them looked like that uh, in the early phases. However, as I gain an MMR rating or whatever, it does get harder and harder. So... Here is an interesting one. Uh, I don't remember what the rating's at here. Um, but what I'm going to show is kind of like the brokenness. <laughs> or uh, basically how you, in my opinion, after one single day of playing Prop Paladin, what it is that we bring to the table and what's so interesting about it. And what it is, is we have basically unlimited healing. Um through Word of Glory. So I take the Hand of the Protector. Yeah, mind games. Not going to happen today, friend. I'll just kill your other buddy. Um, through Word of Glory, Hand of the Protector talent, our Word of Glory does a lot of healing. And that's what you're seeing me doing, right-clicking the frames up there. Boom. The health is just always at 100. And it's not mana-based. All I have to do if I take Blessed Hammer is literally sit there, press Blessed Hammer, which is untargeted, Get three holy power, word of glory. Another couple of blessed hammers, word of glory. And so like, you can do that anywhere. On the move, on the run, you can't be silenced. But I can basically word of glory whenever I want to. I'm sorry, I can basically blessed hammer whenever I need to. It doesn't need to do damage, it's just generating holy power. And then I word of glory myself, or I word of glory my friend. On top of that, I have Avenger Shield, which is ranged. And silences the caster. Not all of them, though. It doesn't silence everything in Arena. I don't understand that fully. And then I have two Judgments, which hit like a truck. Especially if I use Avenging Wrath. So I'm just basically, like, building Holy Power with two very strong ranged attacks. Avenging Shield, Avenger Shield, and Judgment. And if there's no one around me, and I'm, like, Holy Power starved, I just have to do a little bit of a uh, Blessed Hammer. And I get three Holy Power, and that's pretty good. I'm also human, so I have the racial, which is not at the moment even, I think, on my bars. It, maybe it's on the bars, but I put it down there. My UI is not ready for PvP. I don't even have Gladius. I have no idea who I'm fighting when I run in. I just start hitting things and healing. 
And I'm just going off of like raw instinct, like it's a raid, except I just picture these being like um, mobs, <laughs> essentially. And so yeah, we have a lot of sustained healing and we're very annoying to kill. And some of these matches, we just drain and destroy the other team through the fact that I can off heal forever. And I get the feeling that the other teams aren't very happy with that. They are giving me a... <laughs> they do the uh, emotes at the end of, towards the end of the match. And sometimes I just sit there. I don't even move and run around. I just heal, heal, judge, judge, Avenger Shield, and eventually we win. I can hand of freedom, and I can also bop uh, my friend over there if it's like a melee opener. And uh, quite a bit of utility here. Now, these first couple matches are extremely low MMR, right? So I just basically outgear everyone, but I'm still just learning the comps. But by the end, we end uh, me and this Affliction Warlock, who I found on the pre-made group, uh, we end up around 1400 uh, rating MMR. I don't know how you call it. Literally, This is still just day one. I don't really know how this works. But around 1400, uh, my gear level and my general like ridiculous utility uh, starts to fall off and other and comps basically know how to deal with us and we'll we'll look at that towards the end of this video But right here, I'm um, still just getting used to arena and my partner's dead, right? And you'd be like, okay It's over, right? It is not when you're a holy paladin or when you're a protection paladin It is not This priest has no chance against me I could let them drink to full and it's just a duel and I'm like you have Literally not a chance, Clothy, against all the lockdown and self-healing I have. You don't have the burst. Like, say you mind-controlled me and feared me, and that whole time you could do your full burst rotation on me, you're still not going to kill me. Not to mention I have Bubble, which I can immune most openers, which is hilarious. Uh, I forget if you'll see them in this video, but people do these like kind of like big burst openers, and I basically bait them and let them do it to me. Convoke goes out off of sap or like I can tell greater pyroblast and, com and combust is coming and I'm like cool I let them basically cast it and then I immune it right at the end and zero damage goes out from convoke or combust and it's like lol it doesn't always work though as at the 1400s it is it is getting a little bit more challenging uh, but what you'll see is that again at this lower level here yeah mind games yeah big deal hodge your mind games my friend and I'll just heal the other thing I do to comps, I forget if I have it in this in these uh, videos I chose to show, is that I kill BM Hunter's pets, and then they have to run away, and um, and resummon them, which is it's just hilarious. Like I don't think they're used to people killing pets, and maybe that's not the move, but you'll see that um, Prop Paladin and Affliction Warlock is obnoxious, and I basically have three runs that pretty much show that. Should I resurrect his friend? <laughs> oh my goodness. And so the talents I have most, I don't show it here, but I have like a 213 conduit for Divine Steed, which is my like mobility. And I Divine Steed for 70% longer. And then I talent for two of them. And then I do a PvP talent that gives me um, two more seconds. So these casters are not used to the fact that I can run after them at full speed for like 10 seconds and there's just no getting away from me. So I have bubble now. I pop it. I'm like, let's just end this dance right here. And yeah, there's there's a couple runs like this where like my partner dies because I'm still getting used to the off healing and the burst, the speed that bursting happens uh, in PvP, which I'm very used to now. Like I can, I know what's going on. I'm going to basically bubble. I bought the, I bought my bought my uh my partner in twos i'm gonna sack them if i need to we're gonna pull a uh, holy power and if i'm playing unholy dk which you'll see it's like i just keep taking rid of all the i just dispel all of their dots so it's pretty obnoxious what we can do and uh i have uh ret aura or whatever the pvp aura that like basically minimizes how much uh how much cc can be done to me and it is uh it is pretty obnoxious i really feel for the people playing with, playing against me at this point this disc pre should have left i mean come on you can't win against a prop paladin <laughs> at this low level so that was kind of a long drawn out one but i'm basically trying to show like how much sustain we have 
of just healing. It's kind of ridiculous. So me and this, uh, is this a balance or a feral? I forget. I think it's a, I don't remember. Anyway, that paladin dropped their, their uh, vent their ability and I hodged him for like the half of it. <laughs> and then I go Omega Ham, force the turtle on the hunter, right? Um, had to burst him down. If he didn't turtle, it would have been full GG and I'm sure, not sure they were expecting that from the prot paladin. <laughs> But again, the gear is fairly high. I'm still in Avenging Wrath. They're probably also not necessarily used to this. Maybe they are. I have the talent that gives me a long Avenging Wrath. So there is a lot of pressure going out on this hunter, right? He had to turtle already. And yeah, that barrage is not going to cut it here. Not very much. But uh, I believe the druid I'm with here is pretty in inexperienced, right? And so am I, this is day one, but I basically wanted to group an arena with people that were like, they say like looking for carry or they're new. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for too. Like, I don't want to like ruin someone's MMR. That's like 1800 or something like that. Though honestly, I think I can get to 1800 like in a couple days if I really wanted to. And uh, yeah, I'm just not battle healing at the moment. So I let the um, Feral die, which is sad. And I think this hunter comes back, but he's not living. He's not living it. So it's basically me and this Rhett Paladin, which is pretty obnoxious. And so all the Night Fae people that get to come back is so stupid. I, I don't like that. I don't really understand how a Covenant ability can allow you to come back. That's just like, uh, it seems ridiculous. Can I use the Cheat Death Trinket from Sun Kings in here? I mean, I'm going to try it probably. But anyway, this is where I start to understand the self-sustain mode of the Paladin. Uh, is when I'm in these 2v1 situations and I still win. <laughs> Shows how broken this is. So with Word of Glory, I'm getting it up there. Boom. Word of Glory. That wasn't even a big one. The Word of Glory is when you're at like 5-10% health are like lay on hands. You see that? You see how much health just came back? Hodge him. I am in Avenging Wrath forever and I kill the hunter again. Again. <laughs> so that's how much damage we have with Avenging Wrath. Plus I might talent Seraphim into it too. Um, I, I think the on-demand burst of Seraphim is going to be better for PvP openers than uh, the random like procs of free stuff is what I get right at the moment. So Prot versus Ret. Uh, what I would say norm now, now that I've done a couple more of these duels where like art our partners die and it's just two paladins fighting each other. Paladins are pretty broken is what everyone kept telling me. And I'm like, yeah, I can see that because I have no idea what I I'm face rolling this arena. And day one, I'm like, well, <laughs> this has been hilarious. What I would say is that I'm probably over gearing this rep paladin. Look at this word of glory. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Wait, we want another one? Boom. <laughs> Look at my health. Okay. Hakar trinket. And boom. <laughs> Plus I have shielding words and now I'm going to be obnoxious and kite. But that's what Arena is in the end. You'll see. You'll see my last ones. We just milk. We milk the prop paladin build. And so I'm sorry. Again, I'm going to concentrate mostly on Mythic Plus and uh, raiding now. I'm going to try to get cutting edge. But, uh, you know, abusing prop paladin in Arena. I mean, it has been hilarious for about a day. But what I'd say is I probably over level this prop, this, uh, this rep paladin because I did end up dueling, um, in arena, like another rep paladin and he destroyed me. <laughs> like I don't over D I can't over DPS them basically. Like they basically have to just pool, pool, pool. Then they CC me and burst and I die. Right. Um, I can't do the same thing to them. Mine is more, I'm more like what you'll see. I'm more like an affliction warlock for healers. Like you're not, it's like, you're not going to burst me in most cases. Cause I'll bubble it. You can trick the bubble, which is when the comps do get me. And you'll see that rage, uh, mage fire, uh, mage and sub rogue are what destroy, uh, the comp that I, I was playing. And they're a toughie. They're a toughie one to fight, but basically like, you're not going to burst me down anytime soon. Had we win. And I also can heal forever, forever. So I just basically, oom healers. Uh, and I could put a little bit of pressure when Avenging's up. That's about it. So uh, we're moving into another comp I did, which was me and a Demon Hunter. So at this point, I think I'm like 1100 MMR. And we're going to get this rogue out right here. Boom, got him. 
Can I go? Can I give him the Hodge? Yeah, your opener is all done. Right. All donezos. And then the DH uh, imprisoned that one. I might have broken it, so sorry. It's hard without voice comms. And um, yeah, a bit of the off heal going on there. I bopped him because we do have a rogue. So rogue openers are essentially completely mitigated if I bop them on time, right? Uh, the comps that I most hate, and they're probably all melee hate, are shamans. Shamans just slow me down the whole time. Shaman warrior is pretty tough against us, uh, against the comps I do, that I run. And also this rogue mage is also very difficult. That can be. But uh, this rogue is real dead. <laughs> and DH, uh, definitely with the right lockdown, like in a good in prison, a good hodge, it's pretty quick. They have a lot of burst. Um, not massively survival, uh, you know, not massively tanky. They do. I have to heal them a lot, which is interesting. But uh, that was a fun one. I like that because I got the rogue out of stealth. That's a big part of the game uh, in Arena. And so me and this DH are going to do another one, but he ghosts on me after we lose like twice in a row. They're like, I'm like, okay, whatever, man. But uh, I did make a friend. The Affliction Warlock I run with, we get to 1400 together. It takes like hours, but we, we kind of learn each other's styles and, and the play styles. And um, he does a lot more PvP than I do and gives me a lot of tips. But uh, this DH, it's, it's cool. I don't know if I'm going to run. I don't think I'm going to be looking to run DH. I really, I think Affliction Warlock's pretty good. Uh, I would consider Rogue too, but um, definitely Lock. So two Rig of Pieces, like what's the point? You're not doing big DPS, like why do that? Uh, looks like their big cooldown came out, so I bop my friend. And uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to be doing any damage to him anytime soon. I still have Bubble. So I'm pretty sure, the, I forget what it's called, it's like Invoke Yulon or something like that. I don't know how monks really work, but when I see a ton of ads come out, it's kind of like, you know... That's probably your burst. And so there's Life Cocoon on one of them. And what's good about a Demon Hunter, but you'll see that the Warlocks are quite good at it too, is Demon Hunters can kite forever. They just run. <laughs> they just fly away. And that's what we decided. It basically, he's. I was like, listen, if I'm CC'd, just run away and I'll eventually heal you, trust me. <laughs> right, so he's back at full health. I'm at full health and both of these monks have blown their cooldowns we're imprisoning one of them i am an idiot and just running into that continue the hodge and yeah spinning crane kick yourself into the grave and healing and it's pretty much gg you're not a prop pal you can't two on one people in arena so goodbye so running dh was fun but it's actually not my favorite this is my favorite so me and this warlock meet up uh, on the pre-made and we do a couple pretty successful runs together followed by some terrible losses to basically um, rogue mage fire sub rogue fire mage is like a big oof however we do pick a strategy to eventually get it down but uh, this is one of our first runs together and uh, together we are melting <laughs> now I've popped every single one of my cooldowns to live that but they opened on the prot paladin you don't open on a prot paladin now i'm pretty close to dying here i'm not gonna lie like the the opener was close but now i can start the cheese right i can basically just hide this monk will basically never catch me and i can just bless it hammer and uh, i can basically move the entire time and heal and they were pretty close to getting us and this gets me the uh, i think 1400 Right, so that's my fort as combatant. I don't know anything about PvP. And so we're kind of filling it out. And so with this comp, uh, the Warlock tells me, he's like, listen, we're just going to drag this out, right? Like he's a dot class, right? And I'm like an infinite well of healing, right? So what I'm trying to do here is force some cooldowns to come out. So I hodge, immediately burst, and they're they're not spooked but like it's pretty controlled because they're just going to continue to cyclone me but you'll see that this warlock knows how to kite and los this hunter this hunter can't even like get a shot off <laughs> right so the feral has to like try to charge me which is kind of that's okay it's interesting but uh the play here is to play to the strength of the affliction warlock and the prot paladin Right, so we're not like incredibly bursty. However, I, I can be within a certain window. But, you know, that being said, they have turtle and this resto druid has all sorts of tricks to 
to live our kind of mediocre burst, right? Um, so what we do is the, the log tells me, he's like, listen, we're just going to oom this resto druid and you just continuously LOS the hunter, right? The hunter will never get you. If you just keep running around, I can always heal myself. Like the hunter kind of, I don't know if they get close to me, but you see what I'm saying? It's like, you're not going to hit me. And eventually what's going to happen is I will have long, I will have more healing than this resto druid, right? Especially if they're pop changing form and like, d just, <laughs> they're just not as efficient at, it's not even efficiency at mana. It's just like, they have mana. I don't have mana, right? And the other cheesy thing I can do with these blessed hammers is like, those are actually hitting them. And you can keep rogues out of stealth with it. And they go through the walls. So he has to revive his pet because I killed his pet. I wish I, I thought I could. So basically, Avenging, uh, Avengers Hammer doesn't CC. It doesn't silence certain things, which I don't get it. You have to use like a legit rebuke. But basically, we're just out here. And look at the, the rest of you is already at a half mana. And I don't have mana. And everyone's at full health, right? So this is a pretty obnoxious play. However, it works. I'm so sorry, arena people. We basically just know it's like, listen, I can off heal you forever. And we have the control when we need it. But basically, you keep your dots up the whole time. I will heal you the whole time. Eventually, the healer will run out of mana and then we just slowly kill them. Now, I don't feel so, so bad because honestly, a lot of the comps, I like double hunter, which we, we obliterate double hunter because who are they going to open on? Um, some of the comps, the fights end in like two seconds. And honestly, is it cheesier to have a comp that like deletes people in the first two seconds? Like, uh, like a, like a convoke build, right? You're going to like sap into convoke. You're going to sap into combust. Is that not cheesier than how we're doing it? Right? We're just going to bleed this Restro Druid until he has literally no mana. And it's just a game of patience and maneuvering and using the uh, environment. And I don't know what Warlocks do, but they're tricky. They got gates, they got teleports, and I don't know, they have some mobility when they need it. Basically, you can see this at play already. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just kill your pet, bro. You're a BM hunt? Oh no, he's a Marks. He's Marks. But I'm like... To kill your pet <laughs> like i got nothing better to do like you know all we're doing is basically killing is like ooming your healer here and i'm not sure that this is gonna work at like the higher levels but he was basically saying he's like if we can just basically get good at this this is 2k this is 2k not io but mmr here now i shouldn't be sitting where the hunter can hit me right that's not the play but we killed this pet <laughs> Um, you know, being in there for me is kind of sketch because I can't heal the Warlock, but there you go. Boom, where to glory, boom, where to glory. <laughs> Two globals is full health. <laughs> On the move, you can't interrupt it. And, uh, yeah, okay, we're just full health again. So, uh, yeah, GG. GG, this fight's over. He has to revive his pet. What kind of arena do you have to revive your pet? This is so ridiculous. Like, so many of the comps are over, like, the fights are over in, like, seconds but we will just bleed these two dry. And uh, it feels bad, but it's just like, that's what our strength is. It's like, we are, you know, we have to have the mental fortitude versus like a burst comp, you know, like you have to have the fortitude to be like, yep, you know, save you. Like I haven't used bubble. I haven't used bop. I'm like, I still have everything in case they pull out some sort of tricks, but like basically a comp like this is probably going to try to open on us and convoke or something like that. And uh, yeah. They use that already and you can't, you're not going to do it twice. So like basically, <laughs> I think they're maybe starting to understand how, how fair, how, how perilous this is for them. Like, look at the healer. He's in tree form, right? It's not a lot of mana in there. Even if you like drank in there, like I'm like, fine, go drink. We're still going to kill you. You realize this, right? It's like, what, what you, for my heal, two globals. I'm back. So we're letting the, the healers like probably drinking or something like that. And it's like, okay. But the warlock goes to get him. And yeah, I'm not using it. I'm not breaking that CC. I'm good. I'll sit here. The longer this goes on, the more dead they are. So this is the obnoxiousness of Prot Pal Affliction Warlock. And I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Like I could hodge this druid. I'm like, you have no mana. I guess I do hodge him. And yeah, no one's going to heal you. Oh, you're turtle. Yeah, enjoy that turtle while it lasts. Cool. 
We'll see you later. We're both here at absolutely full health, and I'm essentially full mana. Oh, convoke the spirits. Interrupted. Big rip to you. Big rip. Right, and convoke... I, I don't know what convoke does. As, I don't, I'm not really afraid of convoking the spirits. It, no, a balanced druid. I'm afraid of convoke the spirits, but, um, you know, rest of druid convoke the spirits is off spec. It's not going to be that bad. So, thus our victory is, is sealed here. Why are they even fighting this? What do they think is going to happen? So I, I just end it, right? We have Avenging Wrath. Oh no, I get stunned. But whatever, my Avenging Wrath lasts forever. Look, I have 18 seconds of Avenging Wrath left. <laughs> I think they just left. Yeah, so that is the Bleed em Dry Protection Paladin Affliction Warlock comp. Uh, me and this Warlock are now friends, and I'm like, yeah, I'll run this with you, man. You want to do this? There's certain comps that are really tough uh, against this, and this is one of them. This is the one, okay? We gotta play back. This is Rogue Mage. This is very hard. We lost like five times in a row to, the, to this kind of a comp, this exact comp, but this is the time we figured it out. So we sit back, he has a gate, he gets sapped. I am constantly blessed hammering, which is really sketch for a rogue to come into that. And I'm consecrating right against this wall. There he goes, okay. I'm gonna pop out, divine shield, I'm going to hodge you, I'm in Avenging Wrath, and we're going to put some deeps on it. We're going to put some pressure. This comp does not have a lot of healing. Look at we got him like 50% health. Like he does not live if I open on him like that. So that was big pressure, and now we sit back. Bit of patience, we're a dot bleeding class. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's probably putting dots out there. This may just get defensive. He likes to fire breath me. That's okay. Fire breath into poly. Cute, right? That's the opener probably they wanted to do, but didn't quite get it because I divined it. See that greater pyroblast coming up? Oh, one's going to come out. Oh, and peace out. LOS. Boom. Heal. GG's. Okay, I'll sit here again. Boom. Heal. Right, so look at the rogue. Look how low health they have. Just chilling back there, reapplying poisons. This poor soul. I'm trying to get him out of stealth here. The other, the other one ice blocked. I think they understand that this is probably over. I think they burned their combustion. And I don't know what rogue cooldown, cooldowns are. I probably will in the future, but I'm like... I don't anticipate a lot of pressure from them at this point. So we've kind of defeated this. Looks like he's going to get a greater pyro. That's a long cast, jeez. Um, but yeah, you know what helps? Word of glory. Uh, word of glory. And he's full health. So yeah, and I bopped him. So the, the, the basically, the when that crown comes up, there's no melee damage. You will take zero melee damage from a rogue. So I outhealed the combust and then bopped to my warlock friend. What they gonna do now? What now those I could I could kill those or I could like just like basically sit there and wait for like that to war off, but I'm like, I'm pretty confident in this kill. Like look at their health pools and look at us. Again, the dot like he just keeps dots on everyone, a little bit of pressure. I have infinite healing, their burst is kind of gone, and uh yeah, lol. Absolutely lol. Oh, see you later. Goodbye. And uh yeah. This mage actually pulls out funky. He like he almost gets us a couple times. Uh, that's like I'm pretty sure that's the engineering belt. Like he's doing big damn right there, and I'm still polymorphed, but the warlock knows how to kite, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna heal him back to full. So that's us. Def that's that's our big accomplishment as a team is uh, winning against that comp. Sub rogue fire mage is obnoxious. You you can die in the first five seconds, <laughs> or ten seconds if it goes wrong. Or if they do their opener on us. So this is the last fight of the video. Uh, it's very long. Uh, it's Affliction Warlock. Uh, prop Paladin. Bleed em Dry mentality. Applied to two melee. So we are DK, Unholy DK uh, Holy Pal. I believe. That's pretty obnoxious too. Actually as a comp. But uh, we go into this one. And we know the strat. Uh, mostly he knows the strat. He kind of tells me. He's basically like. You basically stay, I as the prop pal, stay pressuring the DK because he's going to try to go after the Warlock, right? And what we're basically going to do is just ignore the Holy Paladin because that Holy Paladin will eventually lose mana. And this is where possibly Protection Paladin is pretty broken. I don't know how they would fix it, but watch me. I'm a healer. I'm the healer in this fight as a Protection Paladin. That's it. I'm just healing. And I'm going up against another t like team that has a holy paladin whose entire job is healing. 
But when it comes down to it, I think we're pretty evenly matched in MMR here. I think we're both about 1400. When it comes down to it, a protection paladin can outheal over a very long fight a holy paladin because again, I use no mana. I don't cast flash heal. Why would I ever flash heal? Flash heal is garbage. Word of glory is insane. Word of glory, I can cast on the move and it doesn't take mana and you can't interrupt me. And if this paladin casts like holy light or like the whatever the big like cast spells are, I'm like, go for it. <laughs> like, my, I mean, he has word of glory too, but I'm like, my word of glory is stronger. And usually, just in general, prop paladin has more damage than a holy paladin. Not always, but like in most cases. And I have more sustained healing, which you will see illustrated here. So thus I leave you with the kind of interesting broken state of a kind of leechy dot <laughs> a comp here. Prop pal affliction warrior, new meta perhaps. Uh, there's definitely comps that like erase us. Like warrior uh, shaman is very hard to fight into this because they're a little bursty. But uh, this class ain't it. Actually, if you look at it, they're kind of trying to do the same thing to us, I think, right? So, Unholy DK is like a melee affliction warlock, right? He's trying to put his dots on both of us and just oom me eventually, right? His burst, there's a couple burst windows for him. There's no burst window from the, the Holy Paladin. Like, that, I don't think they ever like Seraphim or like try to like Holy Shock me down. I don't think. But what I'm saying is that I think they have a very similar strategy where they're going to try to just put dot pressure on everybody and kind of oom the healer of the other comp. So they're kind of like doing what we're doing. We're just better at it. <laughs> and so the obnoxious thing I'm sure for the DK is that like I just basically keep dispelling all his dots, right? I should dispel them off myself, but like I'm not worried. I've, priority is to dispel them off of the, of course, um, Warlock, who's much squishier, less health. Like I'll get to like 40% before dispelling myself. Like see, like I'm sitting there like, I could heal myself. There it is, okay. Not a big deal. I have another free word of glory. Uh, I'm gonna dispel him, but I'm sitting on it in case a burst comes out. And sometimes I kind of bait it, but these days I just try to keep everybody at 100. I'm not trying to bait my poor teammate, because then they might, you know, start kiting or something like that. But basically, two paladins, you know, it's basically like a paladin dot class versus a paladin dot class. And I don't know if, I, I don't think it's gear at this point, now that we're both 1400 MMR, essentially, teams. So I'm assuming we have similar gear. And, um... Essentially, unless we misplay and die to the burst window, which I have bubble and we have bop, which I guess maybe the DK is, is, is magic. I could take the magic um, blessing of queens uh, talent, which I haven't had to use yet. Maybe I would need to against a fire, a mage or something like that. But really, I think the rogue burst is scarier for the warlock. So I'd rather have bop, just a straight up uh, bop. I need to look into the talent still and conduits. Everything's much different for this. But essentially, uh, Bop is very clean for the cloth um, warlock. In case he gets to like 50% burst, then I Bop him and he just kites away and I word of glory him. So you'll see that when I'm feeling confident about this, I just pull holy power, right? I'll lose holy power. It's not a big deal. This is like a long battle. And so look at the holy paladin's mana, right? Crusader strike, their spells cost something. Uh, it is holy power, but they do have mana as well, and they will eventually lose this battle against us. And uh, yeah, holy light. I wouldn't be casting those. I would stay in holy shock. But the thing is, you see that my pressure plus the warlock pressure is just a little bit more than they can heal with just holy shock alone. They have to get into the. They have to start doing the, the card cast, the flash of lights. But that's gonna oom you, right? So that that paladin. Not a lot of mana left. Forced to use holy power because look at we're getting the DK down to 50. Got a flash of light. Look at I just wear the glory back to full. Yeah, go yeah, blinding light. <laughs> that's that's not it. That is not it. Now I don't have divine shield. I don't have the racial. Um, so they have burned through a little bit. There was a bursty moment that I had to use it, but I used it. And now that paladin can't even heal themselves. Right? I'm like oh. This is when you know you're starting to win, and this was you saw this in the fight against the uh, the hunter. You start to see that the healer cannot even keep themselves up because there's constant dot pressure, and it's obnoxious, and that healer just died to dots, right? 
plus a little bit of pressure from me. So that's my first day in PvP. Sorry, not sorry. I'll see you on the next one.